Kenjaku has been a menace to every Six Eyes user for centuries. In fact, did you know there are four other Six Eyes users that the manga has mentioned? And Kenjaku is intertwined with all of them. Over the past 1000 years, Six Eyes users have had an important role to fulfill. Their fates were tied to the keeper and creator of all the barriers surrounding Japan, Tengen herself. They were meant to protect the star plasma vessel from people who want her to ascend to a non-human state. And if she didn't merge, the world would be destroyed. This merger happens every 500 years. And there were three star plasma vessels present within Yuki where she didn't comply. However, since the latest one was supposed to be in 2006, we can estimate that the two other mergers were in the early 1500s and 1000. This means that Six Eyes users of those periods were successful in protecting Tengen and the vessel to merge with. However, there was a huge problem, none other than Kenjaku. Every Six Eyes user was a hindrance to his plan of creating a new world. Kenjaku wants to optimize curse energy so that chaos is spread throughout the world and humans have to evolve in order to survive. According to him, if everyone was converted into to a sorcerer and all of them were to fight each other to death, then a certain number of standout people would be left. These will be more elite and far better than the others. When this happens rapidly on a huge scale, it will lead to the evolution of the whole society, bringing back the golden age that he is from. But to do so, Kinjaku needs to affect the entirety of Japan and force evolution, something he couldn't possibly do on his own. This is where Tengen comes in. By controlling Tengen, Kinjaku could control the barriers of the Jujutsu world and an evolved version of Master Tengen which could merge with humanity itself. Hence, Kenjaku set out on a quest to acquire Tengen but he kept failing over and over because of the Six Eyes users. However, this didn't stop Kenjaku from trying. The first Six Eyes user he fought actually defeated him, which made Kenjaku around the 1500s ensure that both the Star Plasma Vessel and the next Six Eyes user were dead within less than a month of their birth. However, on the day of the merger, a new vessel and a Six Eyes user emerged out of nowhere, much like Randy Orton. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Anyway, despite the fact that only one Six Eyes user could exist at a time. After all, if two Six Eyes user were to exist at once, it would defy God's law of balance. So unexpectedly, a new Six Eyes user was born right after the death of the previous one that Kenjaku had done. So keeping the assassinations in mind, the Gojo family kept this birth under wraps, as witnessing Kenjaku infiltrating their family to take their leader out was really alarming to them. As a result, Kenjaku kept meeting failure with the respawning of these Six Eyes users. Kenjaku's first failed attempt 1000 years ago made him sit back to create another plan. In that time, he forged binding vows with ancient sorcerers for the culling games that would take place in the year 2018. For example, in the 1600s, Kenjaku claimed to Kashimo that even though he had witnessed the power of other Six Eyes users, Sukuna was still the absolute strongest strongest sorcerer he had seen thus far. And he was also the one that taught him how to become immortal by splitting his soul into fingers to traverse the ages. This enticed these freaking whack jobs to do a binding vow to join the game. Now even with fate connecting all sorcerers with its chains, things were about to change as Toji came into the picture to break them, quite literally stated in the manga. Till the day of the merger of Riko with Tengen, Gojo continuously used his abilities to protect her whilst being supported by Geto. But the strongest duo of the Jujutsu world failed this mission because of Toji's master plan, killing not just Riko but Gojo as well. This broke the cycle of fate as the Gojo family failed to accomplish their duty for the first time, altering the destinies of everyone involved. One monkey without a drop of curse energy in him had changed the Jujutsu world forever, causing a huge butterfly effect. 
The first one being Satru ascending to godhood by unlocking reverse curse technique. Secondly, it resulted in Tengen turning into more of a cursed spirit, held together only through her barrier techniques, which created the perfect opportunity for Kenjaku. He would go on to possess Geto, who had the cursed spirit manipulation technique and formulated a new plan. The only way for his plan to succeed was to seal the six eyes, since the last two years users defeated him and the one he did kill just respawned. So with the help of curses, the Shibuya incident arc is orchestrated successfully. It's evident that the presence of just one Satoru Gojo is enough to upturn the balance of power in the Jujutsu world.